hello everyone welcome back to my channel i am here to do missing people and women cases i'm here to break the codes if i see any i'm here to see where their bodies are located if they know and we also here to see if they alive the fish the body suited okay or miss identity um for now on um y'all should know who's involved the white supremacists and the african americans so let's begin now this is the same thing that's been happening okay with miss ferguson with Alicia, Lenny, and this is gonna happen to another student at Texas High School, 2015. Her name is Ashley Cork. He all was back to me. This is her. Okay. Judith, Judith, J U D I T H, because she liked to say the last names. Rones, R H O N E S, 32, left walk in 1994 and was never seen again. This is how she looked. A woman going about her everyday life was never seen again after leaving work in 1994. She said, yes, she did work somewhere. For eight and a half years, Judy Rome's worked at a Safeway in Washington, D.C., and on March 8, 1994, she finished her shift just as she had hundreds of times before. She's saying Walmart. Oh, that was her sister that worked there, she's saying. She said, she's saying well, I'm actually after her, though. According to reports, it was in the early afternoon when Judy left the location near 17th Street in Columbia Road, NW, and assumedly made her way to the bus station. Um, she's saying she saying her sister was dead in a trafficker, but he didn't want to kill her. He wanted to kill her sister. She did not have a vehicle and reportedly needed to take a metro and two buses to get home. The 32-year-old had a 10-month-old daughter at the time who was being cared for by a friend while Judith was working. The missing woman's loved ones reportedly told authorities that she would, that she would never leave without having contact with her family or her child. And it wasn't in her nature or behavior to disappear. Judith Rones have never been seen or heard from again. The extent of this investigation remains unclear, so Brittany Terry has something to do with this as well, because she did go to school with them, especially pertaining to if the police had any persons of interest or suspect. Details regarding Judas, Judas, okay, so Miss Identity, watch the domestic video, she talked about this. Personal life are also unknown, and the mystery regarding what happened to her between work and home remains. At the time of her disappearance, Judith Rome stood 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighed 130, 130 to 140 pounds. She had black dark brown hair, shorter than collar length, and brown eyes. Judith wore prescription glasses and had one piercing in each ear. Earrings described as a simple stud. She was last seen wearing a red turtleneck shredder and blue jeans. And may have been and, and, and may have also been wearing a Safeway jacket and an all weather coat. Now, her sister boyfriend at the time, he already committed suicide. But before he after he committed suicide, he had two choices. Either go to his home place, which is motherfucking hell, nigga. My bad, motherfucking hell, he's right here. Or you can talk to the most high. So tell me why he been outside most high gates, trying to apologize and get a second chance. No. So now the people in the box is finna give him life, give him his life back, so the government can assassinate him. Okay. Her middle name is Ann, A N N. Judy will be 60 years old at the time of this publication. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department headquarters at 202-727-9099 or their local authorities. The agency case number is 118-310. It is unclear if a reward has been issued in this case. Police shared this story about Judith Rones to help reunite the investigation to her disappearance. She is our sister and her life matters. So we like to help with this case, Shaquille. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it for this what I love to do. Okay, now peace.